I'd make an appointment yeah. to fight. Yeah. Um, if something was bothering me, I realized since he said I had a big mouth, I had to find alternatives. So I would actually tell him, say, if something is bothering me, um, whenever you feel it's okay, I would like to talk. And at first it was very hard because he didn't want to face those kind of things. He wasn't comfortable with, let's sit and talk. So those are things that, alhamdulillah, we've come a long way because right now he'll just say, hey, come, let's talk. However, then he would sometimes take about a day or two. Inside, I would be burning with anger and I want to blow up, but I kept controlling myself and focusing on the fact that I want a resolution. So I had to learn patience, which was something I didn't have either. But Alhamdulillah, by the time Said calls me and says, hey, come, what do you want to talk about? Sit here, tell me what's bothering you. It's not possible for me to blow up um, because we are, he's not calling me to talk when already I'm burning. So sometimes I know my brother used to say, this, save your anger for another day. Um, if something is bothering you, you're burning up inside, wait a day or wait two days before talking about it. it the fire won't be as hot. Um, there's this quote I say often, don't light a match in a petrol station. So when you're both hot, when you are angry, that's not the time to try and resolve issues. What I found also that really helped is the fact that when he says, come sit down, and I sit next to him, there's some form of physical contact between us. It douses the flames. It just makes you feel a bit more intimate. Yeah. And it's hard for conflict to come at that it's, point. It's, it's hard to sit next to somebody when you're really mad and you're hot. Yeah. So, and sometimes when I take a day or two, I'm trying to calm, to put out the fire before we sit down and have that conversation. Yeah. And by the time we get to the point, I'm also mentally prepared not to allow anything that she may have said out of anger or frustration annoy me. So you mentally prepared, I'm not going to get angry, I'm yeah. not going to get upset, I will filter out the annoying or irritating phrases or words and just try to get to the crux of the matter and address the issue. So that is why sometimes I buy the time. 